Let's apply the visualize process skill on this 700 level geometry question from the official practice test. If you want to get notified as soon as we post questions and solutions, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Now pause the video to solve the question. Resume when you're done. Let's read the question statement. A rectangular photograph. Now as soon as you read the word rectangle, you should draw a rectangle and you know that there is a length and a breadth. Okay, so let's just do this. This is your length and this is your width. Okay, it's surrounded by a border. So there's a border that is one inch wide on each side. Okay, now this is where you have to, uh, you have to start visualizing now. So you have this border. Okay, a, a border is going to go all around, right? So this is your border here. It's going to go all around. And what does it say? It's saying that it's one inch width on all the sides. What does it mean? That this is also one inch and this is also one inch. Likewise, this is one inch and this is one inch. This is one inch and this is one inch. Now again, pardon my uh, drawing. It's not to scale. Right. So, but again, we know that each of these is, is one inch. Okay. And this is very important. When you read this part over here is one inch wide on each side. You need to, alt, you need to then draw that linkage between these two. You need to visualize what does one inch on each one inch wide on each side mean. Okay. This is the visualization that you need to do over here. Okay. All right. Now let's read further. The total area of photograph and the border is m square inches. Now the total area of photograph and border. Okay, what does that mean? What would be the total area of the photograph and the border? What, what are the new dimensions of this outside structure over here? It is L plus you have one inch here and one inch here. L plus two. Okay, and what is the width of this? Width is also one inch here and one inch here. Width plus two. And area is what? Uh, length into breadth, right? So this is equal to m square inches, m in square. This is what you are, you have translated from this information. Okay, now let's see what's next. If the border had been two inches wide on each side. Now, this is a scenario. This is another scenario. So essentially we have case one in which the border is one inch border is equal to one inch on all sides. Now case two ha is if the border is two inches on, on both sides. So then what does it say? The total area would have been M plus 52 square inches. What is the perimeter of the photograph? Photograph. Okay. Very important. We are not talking about the perimeter of the, we are not talking about perimeter of the entire photograph plus the border. We're just talking about the perimeter of the photograph, which means what we need is twice into L plus W. This is what we need. Okay. So very important to understand what is the question statement asking. Okay. Now let's come back to our case of border two. Now the area is given. Now what would be the, uh, the, the dimensions when the border is two inches on both sides? Again, here we simply, um, we've already visualized the border. This, this one is border with border one inch. We've already visualized that, right? So we just take that visualization and we take it further and we say, okay, if the border is two inches on both sides and you'll have to add two and two to the length, likewise, you'll have to add two inches and two inches to the width. And this area is M plus 52. Okay. So this is, and this is in square. So this is your equation one. This is your equation two. Okay. And what do we need to figure out? We need to figure out twice into L, L plus W. That's what we need to figure out. Now, it may seem to you that you may not be able to solve this, but there has to be a solution, right? I mean, you have these answer choices here. There has to be a solution here. So all you have to do is, again, let me just show you the answer choices. You have these answer choices. There has to be a solution and you need to, you need to have that confidence that this is a solvable problem. So let's, let's now take a look at this. We are going to take up each equation and solve it. So, and this is where the process skill of simplification comes into picture. So I'm going to take equation one. What do I have? L plus two into w plus 2 is equal to m. I'm going to open the parentheses lw plus 2 times l plus w plus 4 is equal to m. And then I just leave this as is. Okay. Now let me take up this is from case number 1. Let me take up from case number 2. Let's simplify this. l plus 4 
times w plus 4 is equal to m plus 52 okay again let's open lw plus 4 into w plus l plus 16 is equal to m plus 52 okay now notice these two equations this equation and this equation notice these two what do you see here you see if you were to just observe you see this term lw you see this term lw here observe this other term here twice w plus l for w plus l and then the other term over here is what you have um, m m and then you have these constants as well you have these constants over here as well right so what you can do is you need to make such observations and now what you what you should do is you should subtract these two if you subtract these two you will get rid of lw for sure okay so really if you subtract these two what you end up getting is twice w plus l plus 12 is equal to 52 what you end up getting is twice l plus w is equal to 40 inches so the correct answer over here is choice d okay so what you see over here is when we read the question statement we first understood what the question is telling us we visualized it we drew our rectangle we drew the border we understood okay what does one inch on both sides mean and this is one of the traps in the question statement you know if you don't draw it out you may simply consider that the the new length is l plus one in, uh, and then the new width is w plus one but only when you visualize it only when you draw a diagram you can you can tell that now the new length is l plus two because you are adding one on both sides there okay the next thing that we did over here was we uh, we again continue to read the statement continue to utilize our simple uh, our, our visualization and then once we got to know what it is that we need to figure out right we then applied our process skill of simplification and we looked at the two equations and we understood okay we needed to figure out 2 times l plus w right so it's okay i don't need to find out l separate and w separate i need to the variable that i'm interested in is the value of is l plus w and let me see if i can get there and again that's where the confidence that you have because you've practiced these process skills really comes into picture okay so take a look at the solution once again and recognize the importance of the process skills Watch the next video to see the application of visualized process skill on an algebra question.